everyone, my name is Whitney and I am a dental hygienist. If you're new here, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. Let's talk about tonsil stones, what causes them, how to prevent them, and how to get rid of them. A tonsil stone, also known as a tonsillolith, is a calcified buildup of debris that collects on and around your tonsils. They're made up of minerals, food debris, and oral bacteria. And if you're one of the small percentage of people who gets tonsil stones, you already know how annoying they can be. They can cause serious bad breath, and they can also be super uncomfortable in the back of your throat. Having said that, not all tonsil stones are visible, but when they are, you'll usually notice a little clump of white or yellow or even gray on your tonsil. Whatever the color it will generally look like a little circular area or spot on your tonsil. But very similar to an iceberg, what you're seeing is only the tip because the biggest part is typically hidden from plain view. Other symptoms that might indicate that you have tonsil stones may be bad breath, sore throat, trouble swallowing, ear pain, ongoing cough, and swollen tonsils. And there are four things that make you more likely to get tonsil stones. If you've had a history of infections and illness, especially in your throat, like chronic tonsillitis, the more throat infections you experience, the greater the risk of scarring, which raises your chances of getting tonsil stones wedged down around all of that scar tissue. Large tonsils in general. Maybe you weren't sick often or anything like that, but you just anatomically have large sized tonsils. Tonsil stones are more common in anyone who has big tonsils. Chronic sinus issues. Mucus drainage down the back of your throat can irritate your tonsils and lead to bacterial accumulation around the tissues in the back of your mouth. Although tonsils are not inherent part of your nasal sinuses, they can become irritated and develop tonsil stones if you have constant post-nasal drip. And lastly, poor dental hygiene. If you're not great about brushing and flossing every day, you're going to naturally have a higher number of bacteria inside of your mouth, which increases your risk of getting tonsil stones. And no matter what caused them initially, if you've had tonsil stones once before, you are now more likely, more predisposed to getting them again. It's okay though. When tonsil stones form, they are usually only temporary. Some people are able to remove them on their own, or sometimes they just work their way out themselves over time. Speaking of, how do you get rid of them? The best way is to visit your dentist or an ENT, an ear, nose, throat doctor, for proper medical removal. But until then, some safe things you can try at home are 1. Gargling with non-alcoholic mouth rinses. Vigorous rinsing with a mouthwash can lower bacterial levels and potentially loosen your tonsil stone. Plus, the antimicrobial action could actually help prevent new stone growth. Two. Gargling salt water. Salt water rinses help soothe sore throats and reduce inflammation. If your tonsil stones are causing irritation, the salt water may provide some sense of relief. So warm up some water into a glass and stir in a teaspoon of salt and then gargle. <coughs> Three, gargle with apple cider vinegar. Some people claim that apple cider vinegar is good for helping to break down the particles that cause tonsil stones, but don't rinse with it straight from the bottle. Instead, dilute one tablespoon into a cup of warm water. And number four, cough. Let me clear. Ah, ah, ah. I know it sounds weird, but coughing. Ah, ah, ah. Coughing is a natural way to get rid of foreign debris in your throat, like tonsil stones. So if you feel like you can cough the stone loose, then have at it. Just be warned, coughing too hard can make you a little gaggy, so be gentle. You also don't want to cough so much that you burst a blood vessel, right? So only cough gently. A gentle cough is forceful enough to knock out tonsil stones. And that's it on the safe list. I know people in the comments section might be like, hey, you didn't mention using a water flosser or a cotton swab or all those other remedies in DIY tonsil stone removals that I've heard about online. But the reason I'm not mentioning them is because personally, I do not recommend them. Sticking anything in your throat, even a high pressurized water, water flosser, if you do it wrong, you have the possibility of seriously injuring yourself or even setting yourself up for an infection in your throat. So don't try to push on your tonsil stones and force them out with any foreign objects. It can totally be a recipe for a throat disaster. Try the safe ones or visit your dentist. And lastly, before we go, let's talk about ways to prevent tonsil stones from coming back. Say you got it out, but now you don't want it to come back. What should you do? Number one, practice good oral hygiene. The less bacteria you have inside of your mouth, like we said, the lower the chances of getting a tonsil stone. Two, use a tongue scraper. Again, less bacteria in your mouth. Three, stop smoking. Tobacco use can alter the tissues inside of your mouth and raise your risk for tonsil stones. Four, gargling with non-alcoholic mouthwash and gargling with warm salt water. Just like the gargling can get rid of tonsil stones, they can also help prevent them. I personally used to get tonsil stones a lot and what I do now to prevent them and what's been personally working for me is every night after I brush and floss and do my normal nighttime bedtime routine, I gargle 
gargle with super warm water. I almost want to say hot, but not hot, just like super warm. I gargle really well and knock on wood, I haven't had any issues since I've been doing that. Preventative is key. In all, holy, holy, holy. Do you eat salt water or just hot water? Just hot water. Mm hmm. Been working for me. I don't know. I'm not saying it will work for you. I'm just telling you what works for me. In all, if you have tonsil stones, I can't stress enough how important it is to visit your dentist and or ENT to have them checked out. And until then, you could try the gentle gargling with warm salt water, mouthwash, or even apple cider vinegar to try and loosen them. I hope this video helped you. Please like and subscribe and turn on your notifications if it did. And until next time, I'll see you on Instagram at Teeth Talk Girl. Peace, love, and teeth.